This is what you're going to do. You're going to move it this way. So you're angling this way as you do. So it's the same thing, but then rather than staying central right there, I'm actually deflecting it and moving to the outside of his arm and then coming back there, which he's going to defend with that. There you go. That's it. Good. This is, a, this is a good learning point here too. Whenever I do these gunting movements, right, um, technically it's not, they're not acting the same. So technically I have, I like to describe it as the active and the passive stick, right? So uh, if you're thrusting at me here, right, the active one is the one that's actively pushing your arm in a particular direction, right? So if I'm stepping to your, to, to your right, to my left here, which is what I want to do because I'm moving to the outside of your arm, if I'm moving that way, I want to push a stick that way, right? I want to be moving in opposite directions. So the active one is deflecting you that way, which allows me to get safely this way. This one here is what I call the, the passive defense in that it's just basically monitoring. So I'm going through here, but you see how this is here defensively, but that one oh, is doing the defense there. And then here, I'm ready for that counterattack, right? So I'm going through deflecting your way. This one kind of remains in this location to monitor that because I don't want to do this. And now you thrust back at me with that or even with the same stick, right? So I don't want to just completely leave it open. This one stays here to monitor it while that one comes in for the counterattack. So this is the, the passive one and this is the active one that's actively delivering that counterattack. Deflecting and delivering the counterattack. So gunting and, and the way that we train it is not a truly symmetric movement. They both have a purpose, uh, a tactical purpose.